These kinds of events are traumatic for all of us. At the very beginning of today's SFMTA meeting, Chairperson Amanda Eakin talks about the tragedy that happened by Muni's West Portal Station over the weekend. I'm imagining that many people are feeling um, anger, uh, rage, a sense of powerlessness, hopelessness. I, I know that I've cycled through these feelings myself over the past 72 hours. It shouldn't happen in our city um, or anywhere. And our hearts are with the family. Hundreds of people turned out for an emotional vigil Monday at Uloa Street and Lennox Way to honor the family. It was really powerful. Today, we received official word on the identity of the husband and wife and son killed. They were Diego Cardoso de Oliveira, age 40, Matilda Ramos Pinto, age 38, and one-year-old Joaquin Pinto de Oliveira. An infant was also critically hurt and is still in the hospital. Police say the couple and their two children were waiting at the bus stop when a Mercedes SUV plowed into them. The 78-year-old female driver is in police custody. She was arrested on suspicion of vehicular manslaughter and reckless driving, but she's not yet been formally charged. On Tuesday, strangers came out to show their support for the lives lost. Some came bearing flowers or a stuffed animal. It could be anyone. I've waited at that bus stop. Nancy Botkin says she volunteers with the pedestrian advocate group Walk SF. We've seen so many people, like 30 a year, get killed by automobiles. Many people are still struggling to make sense of what happened. It's just super heartbreaking because I'm, you know, always at West Portal. It's just such a horrible tragedy that I feel in some ways um, could have definitely been prevented. Today, the mayor shared her sentiments about the tragic incident on ABC 7's Getting Answers. This has really hit people to the core. She also talked about the changes San Francisco needs to make. It means it's more important now more than ever to make sure that we as a city are being as aggressive as we can to implement the kind of infrastructure changes on our streets um, that make it safer to, to bike, to walk, and to drive. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.